Hello, magandang araw sa lahat. Ngayon, pag-aaralan natin yung pinakamadaling paraan kung paano mag-divide ng fractions. Okay, example natin. Whole number divide by proper fraction. 6 divide by 1 half. 6 yung ating whole number. Ito yung ating dividend. Then, 1 half yung ating proper fraction. Ito naman yung ating divisor. So, ang divisor, uh, nire-reciprocate natin siya. Binabaliktad natin no? yung 1 na numerator at yung 2 na denominator ay magpapalit ng pwesto. So, magiging 2 over 1 siya. At kasabay ng pag -re reciprocate natin sa kanya, ang operation ay papalitan natin 2 multiplication. Then, 6. Meron siyang denominator na 1 sa baba. Then, balik tayo sa rules ng multiplication. So, tatandaan lang natin, sa division of fractions, we have to reciprocate the divisor, then change the operation. So, 6 times 2 is equal to 12. 1 times 1 is equal to 1 or simply 12. So, there are 12s, there are 12 of 1 half in 6. So, baligtaran naman natin yung ating unang example. Proper fraction divide by whole number. So, 1 half divide by 6. So, ang dividend natin ay yung 1 half. Ang ating divisor ay yung 6 na whole number. So, when we reciprocate 6, uh, ang mangyayari sa kanya, magiging siyang 1 over 6. Saan nakuha si 1? So, lahat ng whole number sa fraction ay mayroong denominator na 1. Then, divide, magiging multiplication. 1 half. So, 1 divide, ah, sorry, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Then, 2 times 6 is equal to 12. So, there are 1 twelves of 6 in 1 half. So, lagi lang natin tatandaan na nire-reciprocate natin palagi ang divisor. Tapos, papalitan natin ang ating operation from division to multiplication. Okay, ang ating next example ay whole number divide by mixed fraction. 5 divide by 2 and 3 fourths. Ang ating whole number ay 5. Ito ang ating dividend. Mixed fraction ay 2 and 3 fourths. Ito yung ating divisor. So, naka-mix fraction ng ating divisor, kailangan express natin siya into yung proper fraction para ma-reciprocate. Hindi natin siya ma-reciprocate kung naka-mix fraction ang ating divisor. So, 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. Ang ating bagong fraction ay 11 over 4. So, pwede na natin siyang i-reciprocate. So, uh, magiging siyang 4 over 11. Ang ating division ay magiging multiplication. Ang ating dividend ay magiging 5 over 1. So, pwede na natin silang i-multiply. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. 1 times 11 is equal to 11. So, naka-improper fraction siya. Kailangan i-simplify natin siya or gawin siyang mix fraction. So, magiging siyang 9, ah, sorry, 1 and 9 over 11. So, meron tayong 1 and 9 11 na 2 and 3 fourths sa 5. So, ang pinakasagot natin ay 1 and 9 11. Next, ibaliktad natin yung mixed fraction at saka yung whole number. So, yung mixed fraction naman natin ngayon, ito yung ating dividend at ating whole number. Ito naman yung ating divisor. So, ang mixed fraction natin ay 2 and 3 fourths. Ang ating divisor ay 5. So, 2 and 3 fourths divided by, by 5. So, si 5, 
i-reciprocate natin siya, magiging siyang 1 over 5. Bakit nagkaroon ng 1 si 5? Kasi ang whole number natin na 5 ay meron siyang denominator na 1. Kaya siya naging 1 over 5. And then division, magiging multiplication. 2 and 3 fourths, kailangan naka improper fraction siya. No? Hindi natin siya may multiply na naka mix fraction. So magiging siyang 11 fourths. So pwede na natin i-multiply. So 11 times 1 is equal to 11. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So 11 over 20 ang ating quotient at ang ating final na sagot. So mayroong 11 over 20 sa 5 or meron tayong 11 20 na 5 sa 2 and 3 fourths. Next example natin ay proper fraction divided by proper fraction. 3 fourths divided by 5 sixths. So parehas silang proper fraction. Ang ating dividend ay 3 fourths. Ang ating divisor ay 5 sixths. Ang ating divisor ay reciprocate natin siya. Magiging siyang 6 over 5. Then, ang ating operation ay magiging multiplication. Then, bring down 3 fourths. So, multiply natin siya top to bottom. 3 times 6 is equal to 18. 4 times 5 is equal to 20. So, ang ating quotient ay 18 over 20. Since ang 18 ay at ang 20 ay meron silang greatest common factor so kailangan natin siyang lowest term so magiging siyang 9 over 10 so there are 9 tenths of 5 6 in 3 fourths so ayan na yung pinaka sagot natin 9 tenths okay ang ating next example ay proper fraction divided by mixed fraction so ito siya 3 Fifths divide by 4 and 1 thirds. So, ang ating proper fraction ay 3 fifths. Ito rin yung ating dividend. Ang ating mixed fraction ay 4 and 1 thirds. Ito yung ating divisor. So, ang ating divisor ay nakamix fraction. Kailangan natin siyang i-express to improper fraction. So, 4 times 3 is equal to 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. Ang kanyang bagong fraction ay 13 over 3. So, pwede na natin i-reciprocate ang ating divisor. So, magiging siyang 3 over 13. Ang ating operation ay magiging multiplication. At ang ating dividend ay bababa lang natin siya. So, 3 fifths. So, pwede na tayo mag-multiply ngayon. So, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 5 times 13 is equal to 65. So, ang sagot natin ay 9 over 65. Meron tayong 9 over 65 na 4 and 1 thirds kay 3 fifths. So, yun yung sagot natin. Next natin ay balik na rin naman natin yung ating given. So, magiging siyang mixed fraction divide by proper fraction. So, 4 and 1 thirds divide by 3 fifths. So, ang, ang ating divisor ngayon ay ang 3 fifths. So, reciprocate natin siya. Magiging siyang 5 over 3. At ang ating operation ay magiging multiplication. So, ang ating dividend nakamix. Hindi natin niyang pwedeng i-multiply. So, kailangan natin siyang i-express into improper fraction. So, magiging siyang 13 over 3. So, pwede na siyang i-multiply. So, 13 times 5 is equal to 65. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Or magiging siyang mixed fraction or nakasimplify dapat yung ating sagot at magiging, magiging siyang 7 and 2 ninths. So, mayroon 7, 2 ninths of 3 fifths kay 
4 and 1 thirds. For our last uh, example, mixed fraction divided by mixed fraction. So 2 and 3 fifths divided by 1 and 2 thirds. So, ang ating dividend at ang ating divisor ay naka-mix fraction. So, kailangan natin silang i-express to improper fraction. Bakit? Kasi, uh, ang divisor kailangan natin i-reciprocate. So, we cannot reciprocate if the divisor is in a mix fraction. At hindi rin natin may multiply kapag ang, ang ating dividend ay naka-mix fraction. So, kailangan express natin sila into improper fraction. So, 2 times 5 is equal 10 and plus 3 is equal to 13. So, ang kanyang bagong fraction ay 13 over 4. At ang divisor naman, 1 times 3 equals 3 plus 2 equals 5. Ang kanyang improper fraction ay 5 thirds. So, 5 thirds reciprocate natin siya, magiging siyang 3 over 5. Then, ang kanyang operation ay magiging multiplication. So, 13 times 3 equals 39. 4 times 5 equals 20. Or, 1 and 19 over 20. So, there are 1 and 19 over 20 of 1 and 2 thirds in 2 and 3 fifths. So, our final answer is 1 and 19 over 20. To divide fractions, take the reciprocal of the divisor and multiply the dividend. This is the quickest technique for dividing fraction. The top and bottom are being multiplied by the same number. And since that the number is the reciprocal of the bottom part, the bottom becomes 1. So, ganun lang kadaling magmultiply. Sana naintindihan nyo yung division of fractions. Thank you. That's it for today. Though that's it for today, hindi ko That's it for today. Hindi natin ma-perfect. Hold up.